yo gang welcome back to the channel yes we did it again we got the high point model 995 carby chamber in nine millimeter yes i know i know i know but i'm up for the challenge i just want to see is it really that bad that high point c9 was not that bad yes it's ugly it's heavy but i can't say i enjoyed it but for the most part it did what it was supposed to do let's go inside And that's all that matters. It did what it was supposed to do. Yes, it didn't live up to the hype. It didn't live up to the hype. Yeah. Well, yeah, I did have some expectation that it was going to have a jam or two. Or... I thought it was going to fail for a girl. Well, no, it went 100 rounds straight. Plus your, how many y'all shot? I shot two mags, also shot one mag. All right, so that was great. Took about another 30 rounds. Yeah, that was 130 rounds, no jam. So we're going to try out this high point. Model 995, chambered in 9mm carby. I'm excited. I know you're going to want to shoot it. I am. <laughs> Heavy, how are you? I know it's a high point, but how do you feel about the high point? Carby. Oh, just give me my paper? Fine. Thank you. Uh, I'll take this one. I'll take one. Yeah. Yeah. Take one. Yeah. Yeah. Forgot my round. Yeah. This is what we will be shooting today. The Winchester USA Valor Series 9mm. 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 124 grain. We're going to shoot 100 rounds. But it has. We'll talk about it. Has to be six. Six. All right, guys, we are back. And like I said, we are talking about the high point carbine chambered in nine millimeter, and this is the model 995. She is clear. I don't know if she's, there's no magazine inside. Um, she comes with one 10 round magazine, which I wish it was a higher capacity because it is a um, carbine. So that's going to be a lot of reload, reload, reload to go through 100. Um, this, I, of course, um, somebody did leave a comment in the, um, in the comment section and told me that I should try out the, the High Point Model 995 Carbine Chamber to 9mm. And for the most part, it's pretty tactical looking. It comes with a sling. And it's, well, let's do this again one more time. She's clear. There's nothing in the chamber. Um, and I don't want to say it's ugly, but it's, it is ugly, but it's quite tactical. You have your full Picatinny rail on the top. You have a Picatinny rail on the bottom. You have your AK style sights on the front, which is quite interesting. Um, you have your adjustable rear sight. Um, I think this is what they call like a keyhole, fish hole or something, um, sight. Um, it's comfortable for my statute, so it's not um, very cumbersome feeling, uh, but it still has that play play. Um, it, it does not feel very well made, but it's okay for the price point. You can't beat it. It shoots nine millimeter and it should be a whole lot of fun. But before we move on, let me just run through quite a few of the specs and what comes in the box. All right, this um, little thing here, what I couldn't figure out before is actually the, the, um, the trigger guard 
lock. So it comes with that. So you would close this around the trigger and then you have your key. Different, I can't hang this on the Christmas tree, but that's all right. Um, like I said, it comes with one 10 round magazine. We talked about the front sight and the rear sight. Um, the overall length of this firearm is 31 inches. She has, um, she weighs 6.25 pounds. It has a threaded barrel. Come on, a threaded barrel. So you do have the ability to suppress it, which is pretty neat. We are gonna start looking into those suppressors um, because we have quite a few things that have threaded barrels. So we gonna um, start making some of this stuff a little quiet. Um, that's it. Okay, the safety. Um, the safety is just like the, the pistol. It's right here on the side. And um, somebody did leave in the comment that the safety and the uh, slide lock is one and the same. Thank you for that. It does have last round um, bolt hold, which is um, pretty cool. Um, but hey, that's all to it. It's pretty much it. It's, it's decent. So, <clears throat> um, anything else that I miss? No. That's all, I came in the box. Um, you have your must read instructions. It has your instructions on how to um, put on your sling and your breakdown on the actual, oh, well this is the fancy one. They didn't give me this one. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit in my feelings here with um, this, uh, what would this be called? A diagram of the 995 but this is not what they gave me this has a folding front grip it has a light it has the extended picatinny rails it has the adjustable stock and it has a magazine holder on the stock but this is not what i have but you can actually get upgrades to this particular um pistol which is pretty neat um so this is what we have. We are going to go inside. How did they get in my lane? <laughs> we are gonna go inside, we're gonna take lane 10. Don't go far. I am quite excited, just as excited as I was to shoot the, um, the high point pistol. I am just as excited to shoot this. So let's get ourselves together. We'll be right back. Ready? Let's go shoot. a screw and you have to screw it on there um that was pretty weird but it doesn't come already attached so it's quite a um the sling and the charging handle you actually have to kind of put on yourself
this little ring hole site um, back here, it's quite difficult to, it, it kind of like blurs my vision a little bit, but um, I mean, my shots are low right, but they're not good enough. So mental note, just kind of hold it up a little higher. Um, let me reload, we'll be back. All right, we got 10 more. It's not bad at all. Oh, that didn't fire. What was it? All right. I think it's me. Quite difficult. Um,
get a 10 like more. It? Huh? You like it? Uh, I don't know. I can't say if I like it or not. It's not bad. Um, you can, if it was better made, oh, yeah. like the charging handle, it, it's super rough. Uh, when you charge it, no, it almost doesn't feel like it's seeding to the round. So, we'll see. Hold on. I'm going to tell those I like them. So how do you feel about the high points? The high points? Yeah. Ammo? No, oh, the this? high points. I've never shot one. Oh, no? No, so I wouldn't know. I I sold them to some guy the other day, but I've never shot it, so that's why I'm asking. It's not, I mean, it's, 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 it's a fun little toy. We got 10 more. I kind of think I figured out what the problem is. Um, you actually, hello, you actually can feel, the charging handle is, doesn't feel secure. It almost feels like you're just dragging it back and nothing is happening. Um, but you actually have to drag it back beyond this section here. It's like you literally have to move.
There's no magazine. was user error 
Um, you do have to put quite a bit of oomph when charging the charging handle because it does not have a slide release on here. Um, if you hold on to your grip while you're doing that, you can kind of like feel um, the firearm chamber the round, if that makes any sense. Um, I was able to feel when um, it actually sat the, um, the round in place. But after that, it shot all nine with no problem. It's actually a 10 round magazine, which I know, but when you chamber one, you only have nine left in the magazine. Okay. Um, the sights, I am not a big fan of this. Um, I don't even know what this is called here in the back. Um, this keyhole type sight. Um, the front sight is great. I'm very familiar with this style. It has an AK style front sight. It's not heavy at all. It has a nice weight to it. It's a little over six pounds. Um, uh, I just, I mean, oh, it does have a spring at, oh, look, I didn't mention that earlier. The stock has like a, a bouncy, has like a spring in it, which is, um, I guess to absorb some of the recoil, it's only nine millimeter, but I guess that's for your comfort. But besides it, it's not that bad. It, it, it shoots, it shoots. And like I said, for the price point, don't knock it until you try it. If you just want something, like I see a lot of people say, oh, uh, they're boat guns or truck guns or whatever it is that, you know, this is what it is that they have, um, that what they wouldn't feel like they actually had a big loss if something was to happen to it, which we don't want anything to happen to anything, whether um, you paid a whole, whole lot or just a little bit to your firearms, you gotta be responsible with it and make sure they're locked up and secured. But if an accident was to happen, all right. But as far as um, the high point carbine, chambered in nine millimeter model 995, it's all right with me. It's, it's all right. I just wish it was um, the parts in it um, were made a little bit better. But besides that, it shoots, it gets the job done. Let me know what you thought about it. Make sure um, you leave me a comment in the comment section and we'll talk about it when we're on live. Um, in the chat. So, yo gang, thank you guys for joining me today. I had a great time. Don't forget to check out www.yogang.com. Get your t-shirt, get your gun bag patch. I'm sorry, but this is where it ends. My hands are really, really dirty. I love you guys to pieces. Peace.